Hello everyone, my name is Gita and welcome to your Pick a Card reading. So the title of this video is going to be, What are their true feelings? Alright, so this is going to be stone number one with the rose quartz, stone number two with the tiger's eye, stone number three with the amethyst, and stone number four with the clear quartz. So you could take a moment and pause the video and get out your pendulum, preferably, so you could pick the correct stone. And while you're doing that, I would just like to say that if you like this kind of video, please give my video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it, and it really helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you would like to have a more private reading, you can see how to do that in the description below. All right, well, thank you very much, and let's go ahead and get started, and let's find out what their true feelings really are for you. All right, so I have the cards for stone number one with the rose quartz, and let's find out how they're feeling about you. What are their true feelings about you? So we have the page of wands, the moon, the four of cups, the world in the reverse, the four of swords, and the two of cups. And then for the oracle card, we have number eight, do not drink poison. And we have number 13, and I don't know the name of this card, sorry. I will tell you when I read it to you. All right, so let's go ahead and find what signs are associated with this reading. So with the Page of Wands, it could be any fire sign, basically. And then the world is Capricorn, the moon is Pisces, and the Four of Swords is Libra. And then the Four of Cups is Cancer, and then the Two of Cups is Cancer as well. So there is a lot of cancer, but however, keep in mind that the major arcana cards are going to take precedent over the lesser arcana cards in this situation. Does two cancer cards equal one cancer? Two lesser cancer cards. So let's go ahead and go over these cards right here. So we have number eight, do not drink poison. And I'll show it to you a little better. Mm -hmm. I actually haven't gotten this so many times. It says avoid toxic toxic substance situations. Oh, okay. Okay. I don't feel like that they feel like it's you. It, maybe that you surround yourself with too many toxic people. It says, avoid toxic situ toxic situations. I'm sorry, I can't read right now for some reason. People or relationships, do not partake in what you know is not best for you. End harmful relationships, changing toxic habits or improving your nutrition and health regimen, a clean out from your home and pantry of, of substances, Food, even fabrics that can poison your personal environment. Changing unhealthy, harmful thoughts and beliefs about yourself and refusing to speak ill of others. Choosing to encourage, support, and lead through kindness and strength. Hmm. I'm going to read number 13 before I totally dedicate myself, like totally commit to the, what I feel like that one is. All right, so this card is actually called Isolation. And I guess you could see why she's up there in her tower all by herself. Number 13. It says, solitude is a valuable and positive part of life, but isolation is soul draining. Taken too far, solitude becomes loneliness and isolation becomes a habit. If you don't share your thoughts and feelings with others, they echo back and forth inside you until you can't turn them off. Only you can break free of the pattern of isolation if you've made it clear you want to be left alone. Change the signals you're sending out if you want companionship. It doesn't have to be all or nothing, all solitude or all society. Let the right ones in. If you always say no to invitations, people will stop asking you. Okay, so it does make sense. So they're feeling like your isolation is not good for you. And 
your behavior is not good for you. Maybe you're doing things that are not good for you and they're worried about that. That's what they're they're feeling about you. With the Page of Wands, do you see that they have some kind of unfinished business they're feeling with you? And with the Page of Wands, I'm feeling like they have an idea for an adventure they want to do with you. And I'm not sure if they have talked about it just yet. I'm not sure if they've talked about the with the moon here about this idea the inspiration that they're having to help I feel like they want to help you in your situation to they feel like the isolation is not good for you I feel like they have dreams and maybe even more like maybe nightmares worrying about you this person is worrying a lot about you Your intuition is telling them that that you're not in a very good place and they're actually like mentally overloaded with worry about you. They do love you, which is why they're insanely worried about you. And I'm really feeling like this, they've been thinking about this a lot and trying to figure it out. I do feel like that they're getting tired of the situation. <sighs> I really feel like maybe they might have even withdrawn but it's because they're trying to figure out what to do. Anyways, this is what they're thinking about you or feeling. This is both the same here. This feels like both, even though, I mean, we got the four and two cups. So they love you. They, they want to come together with you. The two of cups is about that. They want equality. They want union. And they're very attracted to you, but they are very also worried about you. <sighs> Anyways, that's all I have for show number one. If you like this kind of reading, please give my video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it and it really helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you'd like to have a more private reading, you can see how to do that in the description below. All right, well, thank you very much, and let's go on to stone number two. All right, so I have the cards for stone number two with the tiger's eye, and let's find out what their true feelings are for you. So we have the eight of cups in the reverse. We have the ace of pentacles. We have the queen of wands. We have the empress. We have the page of cups, and we have the two of swords. And then for your oracle cards, we have number 26. It's always tea time. It says eternity, endless moments, and repetition. And then we also have number 28, and I don't remember what the name of this is. I'll tell you when I go to read it, okay? I couldn't get it to focus very well, sorry. Anyways, so let's find out what signs are associated with this reading. It doesn't have to be, but you know, it helps. So, with the Eight of Cups, we have Pisces, with the Empress, we have Taurus Libra, the Ace of Pentacles can be any Earth sign, and we have the Page of Cups, which could be any Water sign. Then we have the Queen of Wands. Keep mixing up two of them. I keep mixing up the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands for the signs. That's why I keep make sure I reference properly. So with the Queen of Wands, we have Pisces Aries. I'm feeling lots of Pisces energy here. 
with the Eight of Cups, we have Pisces too. And then with the Two of Swords, it's Libra. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to have them all memorized eventually. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and read these two Oracle cards. It's always tea time. And the other one, let's read It's always tea time first, which is number 26. It says, a change in schedules, repetition, cycles, patterns, and loops, situations being repeated, being trapped by schedules that need to be changed. A wonderful time to challenge the order in which things are done. Reworking traditions so they are more aligned with the way that you see the world. Okay. Wanting to keep a routine into the schedule. An inability to be spontaneous and break free of what has been decided. So what is they feel like that you're not very spontaneous? I'm getting that from that. I feel like you might have somebody who sticks to a schedule, which is good. But I think they want you to be more spontaneous. So this is number 28 and... Let's find out the name. This one's in, called Intimidation. So it seems like them you're, you're scheduling and I feel like if you're scheduling and everything and you're just you're just being very organized, it's intimidating maybe. It's intimidating them. It says someone is maybe trying to exploit your weaknesses or they are perceived as weaknesses. Don't buy into their view. Don't let yourself be intimidated and held down by a lack of confidence. I'm feeling like that's them. Like they lack confidence. I don't feel like um, you're trying to exploit their weaknesses or anything like that, though. That's just what the current thing says. I'm supposed to pretty much use intuitive abilities to figure out what they mean by this. So, so stand up for who you are and what you believe in. If you are the one who is intimidating others, ask yourself, is this really how you want to win? I don't feel like you're purposely intimidating. I just feel like they find you intimidating because you know what you want. You know what you're doing. So I'm really feeling like... I'm really feeling like... Um, you're organized and everything like that. And you have schedules and... They want you to be more spontaneous. It doesn't mean that you should be or anything. This is just what they're feeling. Hang on. Okay. With the Eight of Cups in the reverse here. I feel like they don't really want to give up. But they do feel like something is missing. I feel like it does come back to this. They're like you have a schedule. They want maybe more of your time or something. They want you to be more spontaneous. They want to do more fun things with you. They want you to become more grounded. I'm not saying that you are, I'm just saying this is what they're feeling. And it looks like they want to have a new start with you. They may even want you to get a new job. I'm not saying that you should. Again, this is just how they're feeling. But also, it doesn't have to be a new job with the Ace of Pentacles. That could be true for maybe some of you, but it doesn't have to be for all of you. Either way, it could just be a new beginning. Again, it is about grounding here. So we have two cards about ground being grounded. I feel like they do want more growth. I feel like that they might have sent you a message of love of some sort. And... 
They see you as very sexual and confident. Again, it's about they're intimidated. Very beautiful, optimi optimistic, influential, creative, and independent, passionate, kind. I think that they find this all to be very intimidating. Then we have the Two of Swords, which is about confusion. They may not send you a message, though. But they might be thinking about it. If you're not in communication, they might be thinking of it and still trying to decide if they should or not. Some may get one really soon. Anyways, that's all I have for stone number two. If you like this kind of reading, please give my video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it and it really helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future readings, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you'd like to have more private reading, you can see how to do that in the description below. Alright, well thank you very much. Now I'm going to go ahead and move on to stone number three. Alright, so I have the cards for stone number three with the amethyst. And let's find out what your person feels, truly feels about you. So we have the six of pentacles in the reverse. We have the hanged one. We have the page of pentacles in the reverse. We have the Four of Wands in the reverse. We have the Knight of Wands in the reverse. We have the Empress. We have number 34. Impossible things for your Oracle card. And the other Oracle card is number eight. And I don't know the name of this and I'll say it when we go to read it. <clears throat> All right, so let's go ahead and read number 34, Impossible Things. So this one is about a struggle to accept what seems unlikely. I feel like that you do that, okay? Devote regular time to improving a situation. So they feel like that you're not devoting enough time to improving a situation. Become better at something you care about or changing something for the better and meditate on a miracle and believe in possible things. They may feel that for some of you, it could be that they feel that you stubbornly ref that you're stubbornly refusing to believe that any kind of action can change things for the better. Denying that action brings re results. Feeling that something is too far out of your reach, or that miracles are for other people. I'm going to read number eight. <laughs> So this one is about motivation. That's what this one's called. It says, things were going along so well, what happened? Whether it's from weariness, boredom, or indifference, somehow the situation has, the situation has become bogged down and no progress is being made. Consider how you can get things moving again. What would motivate your coworkers, family members, and collaborators to participate wholeheartedly again? What incentive can you give yourself to move forward the finish to the finish line with more enthusiasm? There's no point in flogging or dying a dying enterprise, but this one may just need an encouraging little touch of the whip. It says remind yourself why you got involved in the first place. But to remember health issues may be for some of you health issues may be affecting your energy. So maybe check your, get your vitamins checked, you know, check your B12, take some B, B12 or vitamin D supplements or something. All right, so let's go over and go, let's go ahead and go over what signs could be associated with this reading. So we have the six of pentacles. Oh, that'd be Taurus. 
Then we have the Four of Wands, which is Aries. Then we have the Hanged One, which is Pisces. The Knight of Wands, which is Scorpio Sagittarius. The Page of Pentacles, which could be any Earth sign. And we have the Empress, which is Taurus Libra. All right, so let's go ahead and try to figure out what they're thinking about you, what the cards are trying to say. <sighs> so it feels like they, it feels like they feel like that there isn't any equal, equal give and take in the situation. And as a result of that, It feels like they're kind of bored with some routine or something that you might be into. I feel like you're, maybe you're bored and you're unhappy. Let me know in the comments below. Is it you who's unhappy and bored with your routine or your home or is it them? They really would like for you to try to get a new perspective. Actually, and a sacrifice might need to be made here. You really feel like that you're not very, you're not being very thoughtful and you're kind of impatient and maybe even manipulative for some of you, not saying all of you. And that you're kind of kind of re resisting inspiration like they feel like you're resisting this change because it, you don't believe that it can things can change for the better they really feel like that you're some of you may be materialistic, but I'm feeling more about maybe there's a lot of clutter, that you're unfocused, you're undisciplined, unorganized. But we have the Empress here in the upright, and the Empress and the upright says that they still believe that things could be salvaged and that and that there is still room for there is still room for growth and that things can improve. But this card right here says, basically, they're feeling like you have really low energy and you're kind of uh, not feeling that great. And as a result, they're noticing that you're not doing this and that. And they don't, they're not thinking, oh, they're not feeling great. They're thinking, oh, they're not doing this and they're not doing that anymore. So there must be something wrong with me or something. That's what it seems like to me. Also, like it comes off that you're like ungrateful and that you're unorganized and you're unfocused, but maybe that's not it. Maybe there is a health issue because that's what this card says. So maybe check your health if you're feeling low energy and you're feeling crappy. And as a result, you know, it's getting, it's hard, you know, when you're feeling crappy or down to like be organized and focused and everything. So do things to work on yourself to improve your health. That's what I suggest if this is true. Anyways, that's all I have for stone number three. If you like this kind of reading, please give my video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it and it really helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you'd like to have a more private reading, you can see how to do that in the description below. Alright, well thank you very much. Now I'm going to go ahead and move on to stone number four. Alright, so I have the cards for stone number four with the clear quartz. And let's find out what they're feeling about you. So we have the Knight of Wands in the reverse, we have the Eight of Swords, we have the Queen of Pentacles, we have the Emperor, we have the King of Swords, and we have the Six of Wands. And then for your Oracle cards, we have number 11, Changed in the Night. You have changed quickly. And we have number 31, and I can't remember the name of it, and I'll read it to you, I'll tell you what it is when we get to it. All right, so let's go ahead and go over what signs are associated with this reading. So we have the Knight of Wands, which is Scorpio Sagittarius. We have the Emperor, which is Aries. We have the Eight of Swords, 
which is Gemini. We have the King of Swords. Yeah, one second. Which is Capricorn Aquarius right here. We have the Eight of Swords. Where's that one at? Nope. Which is Gemini. So there's a lot of... Oh, I already read that one, I think. The, sorry. We have the Queen of Pentacles. Let me just read the same way over again. Sagittarius Capricorn. And we have the Six of Wands. I'm getting tired, so... Da, 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 which is Leo. All right. Let's go ahead and read Change in the Night and kind of set the mood for this reading here. You have changed quickly. This is what they're feeling about you. So number 11. That's a good number. Sudden unexpected change, a shock. Unexpected news, adjusting to a new situation, finding out more about who you are, an experience and uncertainty, an identity crisis due to changed circumstances. I'm really feeling that one. Let's see, number 31. What have you changed about? What has changed? Tough love. Some tough love has changed you. I feel like maybe some tough love someone did to you or you did to them. I'm feeling more like that they did to you. Oops, sorry, dropping things. Hmm. There could be more toughness than love in this situation. For sure. What happened to you? So they're feeling that you are being not very thoughtful. I feel like that you could be in a leadership role. One of you could be. I feel like it might be you. It might be a leadership role or. I feel like you're impatient. Maybe you didn't used to be that way. So, but you could either be resisting inspiration or rushing ahead too quickly. And I am feeling that most of you are probably rushing ahead too quickly or that's what they feel like you are. You maybe have lacking some inspiration though the energy to follow through your passion. You may be saying no to opportunities for fun and like doing fun things. They feel like maybe you're being more lazy or you're afraid. Maybe afraid of failure. Either way you're not like you've lost passion. You feel like you've lost passion just to say it shortly. Mm -hmm. Maybe you've lost passion in your in your leadership role, your authority role, your power role. You've lost passion in it. And if anything, it's become like an, a prison. And it feels like you're trying to find your way out of this. Also, you could be a business, like in charge, either like self-employed, um, in charge of your own work, 
too. It doesn't mean that you're, if you're in a leadership role, it could be a leadership of yourself or even leadership where you help lead other people, help to guide them or something like that. It doesn't have to be like you're a boss at a, at a store or a restaurant or anything like that, even though I'm sure some of you will, will be, but it doesn't have to be that. Uh, you're losing the passion. And you're feeling trapped and they feel like that you have limiting beliefs that you make excuses and that you are very tough on yourself. But I feel like you do have, they do feel like you have a lot of ambition and you have a lot going for you and that you're able to turn this all around and that you have really this great potential, okay? And they do feel like that you will be victorious in whatever you do. They do, I feel like they, they think that You will change quickly. And you will find your way out of this. Because this King of Swords is in the upright here. Now you'll work through it. <clears throat> and if anything, they believe that you will change really quickly. And that you have changed quickly. And that you are changing. <laughs> I feel like maybe for some of you, the universe could be giving you the tough love to help you. The universe might be helping, making you change quickly by throwing you through different circumstances. Like, like you're supposed to go through a door and it's like, go through the door. And you're like, what? Like that door right there. You see that door? Go in that door. And they're like, and you're like, what? I don't know what door. And you're always like, and then he's just kick your butt right through the door. He's like, go, go through the door. Go on. Gosh, I'm opening this door for you. That's what it feels like. But I do feel like that you're going through a very hard time. Okay. That's what I'm getting out of this. You're going through a hard time. And you are, I feel like you are doing pretty well. Anyways, that's all I have for show number four. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you like this kind of reading, please give my video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it and it really helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you'd like to have a more private reading, you can see how to do that in the description below. All right, well, thank you very much and I hope you all have a wonderful day or night. God bless.